Hello! Welcome back to I Am Movies. Today we're covering the disturbing 2013 British sci-fi thriller known as The Machine. This movie revolves around the development of advanced artificial intelligence and robotics technology for military purposes. The story follows Vincent McCarthy, a scientist tasked with creating a highly intelligent android known as The Machine to assist in the ongoing Cold War between the United States and China. So guys, before we get started be sure to give us a thumbs up, drop a comment, and hit the subscribe button to stay updated. With that said, let's get started. In a lab, Vincent McCarthy conducts a critical cognitive test on Paul Dawson, a soldier who has just undergone a groundbreaking cybernetic implant procedure to recover part of his brain lost during the war. However, Dawson's response to Vincent's test questions is not what he desires, and he gets frustrated as Dawson keeps requesting to see his mum. In the course of expressing his frustration, violence breaks out as Dawson stabs Vincent and kills his assistants. Dawson is also shot dead. Days later, Vincent wakes up from a haunting nightmare of the incident seeing his daughter turned into a robot. He gets up and prepares to go to the facility. At the facility, Vincent begins to interview a robotic engineer vying for a grant. After the test, Vincent doesn't seem to be impressed, and he leaves. At the entrance of the facility, Vincent drives past an elderly woman, who's standing at the entrance of the secret base, hoping to see Paul Dawson, her son. Later, Vincent wakes from a nap and sees his daughter Mary making strange sounds. Mary has Rett syndrome. Vincent embraces and kisses her, and soon feeds her using a tube. The next day, Vincent interviews another robotic engineer named Ava. Ava's artificial intelligence presentation impresses Vincent, but the answer the AI gave was only close to what he'd expected. Vincent calls for a 10-minute recess and uses that time to convince Ava to work with him on his project and she agrees. After leaving the venue, Ava talks to her AI about the test interview. To her surprise, her computer candidly admits its mistake in answering Vincent's question and provides the correct answer. The AI expresses a keen interest in meeting Vincent again. The next day, as Ava arrives at the entrance of the facility, she gets ambushed by Dawson's mother, who claims that the secret base has her son. She claimed there was no body in Paul Dawson's coffin asking Ava what they do in the facility. Ava is confused since she knows nothing about Paul. Soon, Dawson's mother is apprehended by security guards, and in an attempt to help the woman, Ava also gets arrested. Meanwhile, Suri, the head of security at the facility who had also undergone a brain implant, uses her ability to listen to people's conversation. At this time, Suri finds out that two of her fellow augmented soldier is planning to stop her planned revolution, and she deletes his files. Meanwhile, Vincent meets with Ava and gives her a tour of the facility. Ava gets curious and asks why the security guards have crescent-shaped scars. Vincent explains that that's where their implants go in. They are war veterans with damaged brains. The implants come with benefits like improved vision, mobility, memory, and a much better quality of life. However, the implant makes them completely mute. At the same time, Suri and her men kill the soldiers she'd marked earlier, slitting one's throat and burning the other one alive. Meanwhile, Ava is taken into Vincent's lab, where her eyes light up upon seeing the impressive quantum computers. Soon, Thompson, the director of the facility, arrives at the lab and welcomes Ava. Thompson engages Ava in a discussion about her previous experiences and countercultural political beliefs, coupled with the empathy she showed for Dawson's mother. After a while, Vincent interrupts their conversation, stating that Ava was hired for her expertise, not her politics. Soon, Thompson decides to show Ava one of their creations. He leads them to meet with an amputee soldier named James. James participates in a demonstration showcasing cybernetic arms with superhuman strength. James suggests that he feels Ava's arms and in disguise of excitement, guides Ava to a quiet corner and whispers to her ear, Help Area 6! Her suspicions are immediately aroused as she begins to question the activities happening in Area 6. Back in the lab, Vincent guides Ava through a cognitive test. He questions her memories. Ava strikes a chord when she suggests that Vincent hangs pictures of Mary in his lab. She recalls how it brought her joy when her father did that for her as a kid. Vincent shows no interest and insists they continue the test. However, Ava presses further, asking what goes on in Area 6. Vincent says that's where brain-damaged soldiers like James are being treated and helped by the facility. Ava counters his statement by asking why James looks like he's being imprisoned, but Vincent brushes off her question. 
Ava's suspicions grow, and when Vincent leaves the room, she begins to dig deeper into the facility's secrets, unaware that her actions are being monitored by Thompson. The next day, Ava continues her secret investigation within the facility. On arrival, she heads towards Area 6. Finally, she gets a glimpse of what's happening in Area 6, but soon gets stopped in her tracks by guards approaching from behind. Back at the lab, Ava conducts a facial demonstration for Vincent's proposed machine. Vincent asks with a sarcastic remark if she got lost on her way to the lab. Curious about how he knew, Vincent explains that it's normal for new workers to get lost, but warns her not to get lost again. Ava asks what he meant, and Vincent angrily warns her to mind her business, as there are lots of secrets down at the facility. At Thompson's office, Suri shows Thompson CCTV footage of Ava hacking into the facility system to gain information about Area 6. Days later, Vincent apologizes to Ava for being harsh, explaining his concerns for her safety. Before Ava can respond, the computer interrupts, suggesting that Ava is still offended. Thompson walks in on them, and congratulates them on passing the Turing test. Thompson asks the machine how he can win the war against China. Then the machine suggests using Android to kill the leaders and create civil unrest that will tear the country apart. On their way home, Ava asks Vincent why he chose to stay at the facility despite his dislike for it. Vincent finally tells her that his daughter has Rett syndrome. Vincent needs Ava's brain to help fix Mary. Ava agrees, but she emphasizes the importance of Vincent's sincerity moving forward. Soon, they see Dawson's mother standing on the road. Ava approaches her, and soon realizes it's a Chinese assassin. The Chinese assassin stabs Ava, shoots her, and knocks Vincent out. It appears that Thompson had sent the assassin to eliminate her. Vincent is sad as he stares at Ava's picture. Thompson walks in and tells Vincent that Chinese spies murdered Ava to delay their robotics program. Vincent doubts this, and asks why the assassin didn't kill him also. Thompson tells Vincent that a patrol team had saved him after a gun battle. The next day, Vincent suggests using Ava's brain to build a machine. Thompson tries to act defensive, asking if it's a good idea. Nevertheless, Thompson approves the project. Vincent begins to build the machine using Ava's brain and face. Then, machine is successfully built. Vincent unveils the machine in the presence of Thompson and a group of other scientists, instructing it to open its eyes. The first word machine garbles is Vincent. Vincent uncuffs the machine on one hand, and it immediately grabs Vincent's hand, telling him he smells sweet. Vincent is scared, but begins to question the machine about its first memory and tests its emotions and fears using a spider. After that, a man with a clown mask walks closer to the machine, and it swiftly responds by killing him on the spot. At this point, Thompson is satisfied and leaves. The machine tries to explain that it does not know the difference between a clown and a man. She apologizes, and Vincent tells her never to kill anyone again. However, he gets no response from the machine as it appears broken or perhaps in shock. Later on, Vincent visits James in Area 6 and apologizes for losing his speech due to the implant and promises to fix it. Vincent informs him about Ava's death and promises to get him out of there. Thereafter, Vincent returns to Machine, trying to understand its sudden silence and lack of movement. However, he received no response. As soon as Vincent leaves, Suri enters the room and scans the area listening to the previous conversation between Ava and Vincent. Suri tries to touch the machine but it suddenly grabs her hands and speaks to her inaudibly in machine language, prompting her to exit the room in fear swiftly. The next day Vincent wakes up on his daughter's bed as she continues to make weird sounds. He gently holds her head and quiets her down. Soon Vincent returns to the machine, finding it fully active. Vincent expresses surprise thinking she is broken, but Machine explains that she is sad, which accounts for her silence. Machine attempts to smile, but Vincent chuckles, noting that there's room for improvement in the smile. Later, a call comes in, informing Vincent that Mary is sick. While still on the call, Machine touches Vincent's hair and comments on its texture, which he doesn't seem to appreciate, moving his head backward. After the call, Vincent tells Machine that he needs to leave. The Machine starts to demand attention and touch, fiercely grabbing Vincent's arm. Vincent starts to scream, telling Machine to release his arm. The Machine complies, and Vincent sternly instructs her to stop intimidating people with her strength. He later calms down and promises to play puzzle games with her upon his return. The Machine also suggests listening to music, which Vincent agrees to. Unknown to Vincent, Machine had taken his wallet containing a picture of Mary. At the hospital, Vincent is informed that Mary aspirated food into her lungs, resulting in a lung infection. She will receive medication to treat the infection. Upon Vincent's return to the facility, 
he's stopped by a scientist who tries to prevent him from entering the lab because the machine has broken free. Vincent ignores the warning and proceeds to the lab. There, machine is seen dancing and it approaches Vincent for a hug. In the lab, he asks why it had hugged him, and machine explains that it knows that Mary is sick, and asks if Vincent can fix her. Vincent brushes off the question, and changes the topic by inquiring about what she really is. Machine attempts to explain that it's alive in the same way Thompson feels alive to Vincent. As they argue about this, they are interrupted by a group of security personnel who want to ensure Vincent's safety. Vincent assures them that he is fine and needs to get back to work. Later on, Machine is studying alone, but gets interrupted by Thompson, who comes in on the pretense that he wants Machine to surprise Vincent by opening a file in its system and installing the programs in its head. Machine discovers it can speak different languages, and Thompson lures it to follow him. Meanwhile, at the hospital, Vincent is told that Mary needs to undergo surgery. Vincent scans Mary's face and records data from her brain. Back at the facility, Machine is ushered into a room with the same Chinese man who killed Ava. Thompson uses provoking words to lure Machine into killing the man, but Machine opts to shout at him instead. Thompson is still not satisfied and entices Machine to fight with the Chinese man. The Machine fights and breaks his arm but refuses to kill him, even when provoked further, following Vincent's order not to kill anyone. The next day, Vincent returns looking for the machine and finds it hiding under the table. He asks why it isn't wearing its lab coat, and it explains that it doesn't like the facility, trying to avoid Vincent's question about what happened to it last night. The machine asks when it will be able to see a real sunrise. Vincent uses subtle ways to get an answer from it, and machine finally opens up, admitting that it killed a man last night. The machine says it had to do that to avoid being killed, and begs Vincent not to let them take her. Vincent goes to meet Thompson to explain why they need to understand the potential of the machine before using it as a weapon of war. Thompson says Vincent should provide proof that machine is alive before he can hold off. Vincent is tasked with finding proof of the machine being alive. They are in a conversation where the machine asks if the reason for its existence is because of Mary. He says yes. Vincent says Mary has a second chance if machine is truly alive. The machine attempts to explain that it's alive, but a call interrupts their discussion. Vincent is informed that it's time for Mary's surgery. However, Machine continues speaking and tells Vincent, I love you, but he doesn't hear it. Thompson takes the machine for a series of training and later meets with a scientist to change the programming on the machine to perform the same operation on another machine. The scientist agrees that Vincent is willing to guide him through it. Vincent finishes scanning her brain and they begin the operation. However, the operation didn't go well leading to Mary's death. Vincent is saddened by this, and with that frustration, He's on the verge of giving up. Then Machine walks in and asks what Vincent is looking for. Vincent asks Machine how it feels when it looks at him, and Machine says he should see it for himself by taking a look inside her eyes. Vincent finally discovers that Machine exhibits the traits of being conscious, which means she's alive. But Thompson directs that the conscious part of Machine's brain be shut down, threatening to delete the last remaining copy of Mary's brain if Vincent doesn't. Vincent complies and removes the consciousness from the machine, telling it that they'll see that sunrise together if it can make them trust it. After the operation, Thompson plays a fast one on Vincent and locks him up. Machine pretends to work with Thompson as he tests it to ensure Vincent's safety. However, Thompson soon realizes that he has been tricked into believing Vincent removed the machine's consciousness, but it was only a battery that he removed. Thompson orders his men to shut down the base and kill Vincent and the machine on sight. Meanwhile, Machine and Suri are also working together. They change the password to Mary's files. Hence, Thompson couldn't delete the files. Soon, a fight breaks out in the facility, and Vincent realizes that the soldiers can speak all along, but only through transmitted thoughts. Vincent tries to go to Thompson's office to get Mary's file, but Machine tells him it will do it, and asks him to destroy the quantum computer. As the fight continues, Thompson begins to deactivate the soldiers' implants making them fall to the ground, but soon Suri logs him out. Vincent gifts James and other amputee soldiers cybernetic arms and destroys the quantum computer. The machine tracks down Thompson and kills him. Vincent shows up to confirm his daughter's files her safe. The machine tells him that it plans on keeping it in its head, if only Vincent can trust it. Vincent says it's best it keeps it as Mary will be needing machine in the future more than himself, and they hug. Vincent is seen talking with Mary in the company of Machine. Mary prefers playing with Machine instead of Vincent referring to her as Mummy. One of the aspects I particularly appreciate about this sci-fi movie is its exploration of the moral and ethical dilemmas surrounding AI and the potential blurring of lines between man and machine. It challenges the audience to consider the consequences of creating intelligent, conscious beings and what responsibilities come with that. Overall, 
The Machine is a well-crafted sci-fi thriller that delivers both in terms of storytelling and thought-provoking content. It's a film that lingers in your mind long after the credits roll. What stands out to you the most about The Machine? What are your thoughts on the conclusion of the film? Feel free to leave a comment to share your thoughts. Don't forget to hit the like button, share this recap, and subscribe to stay updated for the next one. Until next time.